Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerding Korea. We are looking at our MTG keyword series, this time at Xpend. I really like Xpend. So this mechanic was released in Bloomborough, which makes it probably the most recent mechanic I've covered. Um, when you use a given amount of mana in a turn, no matter how you use it, this effect will take place. Okay, so this is something that can be triggered every single turn, not just your turn. And it's just how much mana you use is all it cares. So expend four, use four mana. Expend eight, use eight mana. Um, it's a bonus for just doing something you're going to be doing anyway. So that's the thing I always really like in a mechanic is like, if it just triggers, combat starts, it triggers. Um, end set, it triggers. Uh, draw a card, it triggers. Like, those me or the triggers that go off are just doing what you're going to be doing anyway. Uh, they're just the best to have. So this is an unusual take on activated abilities, essentially activating it without its own activation cost. So yeah, if you think about it, it's like an activated ability, but well, I guess it's a triggered, but it's like an activated ability where like the activation is moved to like something else, just happening in general. So yeah, it is a triggered, not activated, but in a way it's almost like activated because anyway, I'm just rambling now, but yeah. It's activated by you just doing some anything, so, which makes it triggered, I guess. But anyway, okay. Um, the real question is, is this something you want to do and something, or sorry, <clears throat> is this something you want to do and is it something you want to do at this time? So really it's about timing and uh, yeah, do you want to do that? There are some of these that give you op the option to do it or not. Most of them just happen. Of course, most of them are just beneficial, so I don't know why you wouldn't want it to happen. Uh, this has been tied to raccoons as their own mechanic. Raccoons having their own mechanic. Should raccoons have their own mechanic? Yes. Am I talking about this because I want to put a bunch of raccoon clips into my uh, video? No, 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 no. Well, yes. Whoa. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 come, come here. Yes, anyway, okay. Does this sound familiar? So this mechanic is similar. I, I wanna stress here, similar, okay? I, I had a hard time thinking of something that really compared well to this to entering effects like landfall and constellation. So things like, yeah, where it's just, this is triggered, is triggered by something you're already going to do, I guess is, landfall is maybe a better example. <clears throat> constellation, you might not play any enchantments, so theoretically possible. Giving a bonus for using mana is not unlike those, but even more open as landfall may benefit from lands entering and constellation from enchantments. Mana use is something every deck wants to do. It is more open-ended. So this is way more open-ended than even landfall. Every deck is going to use lands, granted. Are they going to have like ramp and multiple triggers per turn? Maybe not. This is something that where, um, another major difference we're going to come up here, uh, uh, we're coming up on here is, it also has a limitation built in that the others do not. It counts mana spent over the turn, so you cannot activate each ability more than once per turn. So again, if it has expend four, as soon as you use four mana, that happens. If you use eight mana, you don't expend four twice, right? You cannot trigger this more than once per turn, but you can trigger it any turn. So again, if you've got like an instant or, <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat today. If you've got like an instant or something, um, that costs four mana and you've got to expend four and you cast that instant on someone else's turn, you get all the expend effects. Um, so that is just really good. Having things like uh, instants, flash, abilities even. Remember, tr abilities cost, that cost mana to trigger um, are actually, or to activate I should say, are um, absolutely things where you're just using mana. This doesn't care, it doesn't say whenever you cast a spell for four or where whenever you whatever, 4-4. Four, four. This is just how much mana you've used. It doesn't matter how.
please hit like and subscribe. It makes a big difference. Um, yeah, if you could, it'd be great. Honorable mentions. Okay, Granville Guard Veteran for uh, one green green. Again, they are mostly green, I think. Uh, this is a w three four. For three, it's not bad. Whenever you expend four, raccoons you control get plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. Okay, all raccoons get plus one, plus one. Vigilance. Vigilance is the big one there. You get to be pretty aggressive if you're like granting vigilance to all your creatures, probably every turn. Expend four is low. So this is something that's probably gonna happen every turn. Um, the trick is, I'm already building a, a budget, um, raccoon deck because I think it's just so much fun. Anyway, eight cents. By way, barterer. A uh, two and a red for a three, three with menace. Uh, this one is one of the very few where you actually have the option, which is very nice. Anyway, whenever you expend four, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw two cards. Very, so, so good. Okay, especially in decks where you're like, Red decks, a lot of times you're, the problem is that you're going to burn through your hand, no pun intended, and yeah, your hand is like gone. If you have no cards in hand, discard your hand. No cards in hand means that your hand is zero, you still count it as discarding, but then you just draw two cards. So this is something that I think should be a staple in like mono red burn decks, where you're just like constantly kind of running out of cards. Running out of cards is a good thing if you just keep drawing more. You know, like, why not? Anyway, 10 cents. Again, you may, you may discard. Not you must. Not you have to. If you've got cards and you don't want to discard them, just keep them, no problem. Anyway, Bark Knuckle Boxer for one and a green, a three, two. Whenever you expend four, Bark Knuckle Boxer gains indestructible until end of turn. This is also great for like just being a response. If you have like an instant that costs four, even if there's a board wipe, you can play your instant that costs four, make him indestructible. Hopefully your instant is gonna like protect your commander or what another creature as well. <clears throat> anyway, four cents. Number five. Okay, first of all, I love the art. The Blue Barrel art is just like a win for me. I think me, some people seem to not like Blue Barrel a whole lot. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I don't know. The, the, this raccoon, oh, oh boy. Angry raccoons are great. Roughshod Duo. Okay, so it's a raccoon and his friend. I, again, love it. I love it. <clears throat> two and a red for a 3-2 with Trample. Whenever you expend floor, uh, floor, bah. I am just non-stop today with the mistakes. Expend four, not floor, not what you stand on. Uh, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains Trample until end of turn. Okay, plus one, plus one, eh, right. Trample, just throwing Trample on a creature every turn. Any deck, especially, I, I always think Gruul with abilities that are really great for those like big creature decks. Um, yeah, in a Gruul big creature deck, this is gonna be just a monster of an ability. This, and you're gonna just set it off every turn. Expend four is nothing, right? Again, by like, I think turn three, you should probably already be using four mana per turn if not even earlier, based on how much ramp you have. If you're playing like a Gruul, definitely by turn three. Anyway, two cents. Number four, Wander Tail Mentor. So this is once again Gruul. I feel like a lot of these raccoons are best with Gruul. Maybe that's their uh, whole subtype or something, or their, what they had in mind in the, you know, drafting. But anyway. Um, 
Red Green for a 2 2. Whenever you expend four, put a plus one, plus one counter on Wander Tail Mentor. So if you expend four, again, just use four mana on absolutely anything, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. Okay, so he taps for a red or a green. So he's a mana dork that costs two mana and is a 2 2. I think that's not a bad start. I like mana dorks that make more than one type of mana, first of all, but he's going to just put that plus one plus one counter on himself and then yeah get a plus one plus one counter every turn and if you've got proliferate especially in a proliferate deck this is crazy i think rule proliferate is already quite strong but like there's so many decks that can uh even like a naya oh not naya what am i talking about is it yeah yeah naya a naya proliferate deck this uh this would just be a monster as well 13 cents Number three, Teapot Slinger. Okay, for a three and a red is a three, four with Menace. Menace is okay. It's not the best evasion, but you know what? Whenever you expend four, Teapot Slinger does two damage to each opponent, each opponent. Okay, again, if you're playing a multiplayer format like Commander, if you have three opponents, every time, every turn, if you expend four, I said floor again. Ah! Anyway, okay, four mana, four. Um, yeah, my speaking still is bad sometimes. Uh, I don't want to get into it, but yeah, I, I had speech problems for sure. Um, you, it deals two damage to each opponent, just like all, every time you expend four on a turn, including their turns. So any spell slinger deck, should have this, right? If you've got like a good amount of instants or even just instants that cost like four mana or floor mana, if you have floor mana, um, then you can just keep pumping out damage, right? This is like free shock against every opponent every turn just by using four mana. Um, also use effects that increase damage or damage to players or red damage, whatever it is, your damage enhancement. If you have a small amount of damage enhancement, this gets crazy fast, right? If you turn that two into even four, you can start just like using mana on your turn and then they all take like more than a lightning bolt's worth of damage. And then you, uh, yeah, on their turn, you cast like an instant or a couple of instants and then they all take four more damage. If you've got three opponents, right? That's 12 damage and then 24 in a single round. Getting 24 damage in is not hard with him, frankly. You do need the damage enhancement, but even without that, in a single turn, it would be six. And then if you do it during someone else's turn, you get 12 and then, yeah, you can just keep going. Just insane. Four cents, four. I actually pulled this guy and I was like, oh my gosh, this must be a money card. And like, nope, four cents. Number two, so we're getting to our art guy here, the really angry, uh, angry raccoon. Uh, angry raccoons are great, right? Nura, trash tactician. Okay, so for uh, again, he is gruel. Yeah, the uh, <clears throat> sorry, the raccoons are definitely gruel focused. Uh, one red green for a two four, not bad. At the beginning of your first main phase, at a Red or green for each raccoon you control. So again, raccoons, changelings. This is, uh, I'm actually building this as commander because this is crazy. He ramps just by, it turns all of your raccoons or changelings into like, essentially mana drugs that don't even have to tap. Like, oh boy. Okay, whenever you expend four, gain three life. Sure. Whenever you spend eight, excel the top two cards of your library, you may, until end of turn, you may, or end of your next turn, sorry, you may play those cards. Play. 
Also next turn, not until end of turn. It seems like more and more they're with the exile thing, they're saying until end of next turn, not until end of turn. End of turn will be very bad because expend eight even if you're making extra mana is probably using up most of your mana. So getting two things where you're gonna be able to like use them that turn, eh, not likely. Next turn though, you start out with two cards in exile, you're just like ready to go on those cards. Um, also, remember, if you've got two lands, you might get two lands, you can play. It does say play, so you can get lands from out of exile with this. And also, if you are expending eight, try not to use your land drop first. That way, if you do pull the two, or exile two lands, the first turn, that turn, you can uh, play your land drop from exile, and the next turn, next land drop from exile, and then expend eight again, and uh, do it all over again. So good. Oh. 25 cents. Number one, Trail Tracker Scout. <sighs> one in green for a 1 3. Add one mana of any color. So, again, your mana dwarf that makes any mana or mana of any color always good. And whenever you expend eight, return up to one target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Just automatic recursion. This is something that usually at least costs you one mana and uh, a card, right? You actually have to have a card that you use for that, which means it's going out of your hand. So you're kind of not really gaining card advantage. You're just like spending one card to get one card back and mana. This is like just getting the card back, not spending the card. And you're spending mana, but mana that you're going to be spending anyway. Um, the only major downside I see to this is that Expend 8 is probably something that you're not going to be doing on other people's turns unless you really... you've got like a lot of flash or something like that or a lot of abilities where you might be able to like do it but even then it's... Expend 8 is not cheap, right? That's probably once per round you're getting that so recursion once per round automatic recursion that doesn't cost you anything else this is my number one pick for a... Uh, green cards any deck that has green now I'm putting this card in I don't care if it's even mono green I would put this card in um, yeah 81 cents Okay, the list. Roughshod Duo, 2 cents. Wandertail Mentor, 13 cents. Teapot Slinger, 4 cents. Mura Trash Technician, Mura? Tactician, I keep saying technician. Tactician, 25 cents. Trail Tracker Scout, 81 cents. Trail Tracker Scout, buy it well, it's not crazy expensive. I, I see this one going up. Anyway, take it easy.